Brighton and Hove Albion's new £90 million home is on schedule and beginning to take shape. One and a half stands have now been built at Falmer and the project reached a key milestone this week as the University of Brighton handed over a final piece of land. It means work can now begin on the rest of the 22,500-seater stadium, which is on track to open in 2011. There's huge excitement amongst the fans, and rightly so, uh, because they now can really see it. We've talked about it, haven't we, for over 10 years. Um, now they've actually got concrete and steel that they can see, and uh, it's a tremendous time for the club, and uh, really we've got everything to look forward to. Many men make a meal of things when they're suffering from a cold or tummy bug, but they refuse to visit the doctors when things seem to be more serious. Yes, and that can have grave consequences. So health chiefs have recruited one of the South's top football clubs to help their fight against cancer. Our sports correspondent Paul Belveston has more. There have been some high-profile links between football and cancer recently. Former Wales captain John Hartson ignored the signs of testicular cancer, so it spread to his lungs and brain. Former Portsmouth defender Jason Cundy was one of the first players to talk openly about having the disease, but 12 years on, most men are still unaware of the risks and symptoms. For various reasons, men just tend to sort of keep things to themselves or, or they're too frightened about what might happen when they go to their doctors. Um, and really it's just a, a way of trying to change that sort of attitude and, and the culture, particularly in this country. We are a little bit more reluctant. I think the braver ones in, in life in general are the women. Um, you know, they, they haven't got a problem with going to the doctors and, and we should be a little bit more forthcoming and, and, you know, finding out the details and the symptoms. The Albion have produced leaflets, are holding workshops for fans and staff and will be offering health checks at three home games this season to highlight the very serious risks of prostate, testicular, bowel and lung cancer. We're talking about probably 8 out of 10 people with lung cancer being dead within a year of diagnosis, so very serious. It affects everybody in all sorts of walk of life, doesn't it? So, you know, we've got these little booklets, we've got 10,000 of them, and we're just trying to get them out on match days, uh, you know, every shopping centre, any opportunity that we get with Albany community and, and the football club itself to get some sort of awareness, because there's a big threat. After the Jade Goody effect saw a surge in women having smear tests following the Big Brother celebrity's public fight with cervical cancer, health chiefs hope football will encourage men to check themselves too. Paul Balveston in Brighton for Meridian Tonight.